here is a empty box which I'm gonna use for this project you can use any size you want so I will be cutting it from the middle by leaving uh, one inch sides from the cardboard from each side I will be leaving one inch almost and then I will be cutting it like this from all the sides to make it like a frame this is how it will looks like And then I'm going to cover all the rough edges of the frames like this pillar type with uh, masking tape to cover them from the sides. So this is how it will looks like and then I took a uh, same size of the piece of cardboard and this one I'm gonna put it on the bottom of the frame because that one is not clean and not uh, strong enough so this is I took the thick piece to put it on the bottom to make it a little bit heavy also and uh, nice finishing and then I will be using the hot glue to stick it from the sides So to make this lampshade heavy I am taking uh, another piece, another box, small one and I am using some stones in it to make it heavy to stick it on the bottom of the lampshade to make it heavy enough. Uh, actually I was not having the uh, same size of box that's why I'm using the small one but anyway I'm gonna cover it from the sides with these pieces of cardboard so it doesn't matter if I use the same size or the smaller box. And then I'm making it like A shape from the sides and I will be cutting them and we need uh, almost four pieces uh, for all the sides to cover them like this. Then stick them all around the box on the bottom and I cut these pieces according to the same height of uh, the box, the first one. Then again I'm using masking tape to cover the edges of these pieces I stick together like this and then wherever I'm using the cardboard pieces I will be covering all those parts with the masking tape. Here I'm using another piece of cardboard on the top as well. And then here I have rolled a roughly piece of cardboard. Just I roughly rolled it, not you don't need to be having it in a proper shape. Just uh, this one is just going to be the support for the other designing pieces I'm gonna. Uh, apply on the sides on top so this is just for the support for those pieces you will see it this is also another piece of cardboard on the same width of uh, the frame so this is I'm just gonna fold it like this in a little bit curvy shape to make the top part the designing of the frame of uh, the lampshade this is you can say like Moroccan Turkish and Arabic styles lampshades and I totally love them so now I'm gonna draw some shape like this and then I will be cutting off the extra piece and then I will be preparing the rest of the three pieces also in the same way in the same style
here I have stick already one just to show and then the other ones I'm gonna stick how I did it you will see it now I will be using some hot glue on this part and then I will stick the pieces all around Now here I'm using some paper tape as well to stick the pieces on the place and then I will be using again more paper tape to cover these uh, pieces of cardboard from the top like this as well. From all around I will be covering them on the place by sticking them where I want them. Here you can see I have covered it and then I took a small piece of ball and I will be cutting the top corner little bit uh, because it's very tiny uh, needle type edge so I will cut it little bit to stick the ball on top of this like this and then I am using some white glue and I added little bit water in it to make the mixture a little bit thin. I will be covering all the bottom mm -hmm. and the top part of this lampshade with some tissues. You can use even the newspapers if you want. Now here I have black acrylic paint which I'm gonna color um, the pillars as well of the cardboard these ones from inside and from the outside before I start to cover the back side of these ones with the baking sheet to make like a glass type so before doing that thing we have to color uh, the inner part so it will be easy for us you can use the colors of your choice if you want. This is here the baking sheet, the baking paper, waxing paper, whatever you call it. This is I'm going to use for the sides to cover all of these pillar, all of these sides from all around. It's like uh, I'm going to make the glass effect. So I'm just checking from where I need to apply the glue. So here I'm just uh, measuring how much space I need to leave empty. Where I don't need to apply the hot glue designing. I'm going to apply the hot glue on this glass paper just to give it the effect of those um, uh, I don't know tempered glass uh, something similar to this I don't know exactly the name and uh, this is uh, why I'm 
using the waxing paper to make some designing you can use the tissues to color uh, to cover all the sides as well if you want instead of baking sheet but for me I wanted to use baking sheet to make it glass effect by doing some designing with hot glue so yeah next you will see what I am doing here I took the hot glue now and I'm gonna use hot glue on these waxing papers all the sides and while I'm applying the hot glue on these sheets I'm just spreading it with the glue gun as well not just uh, leaving it as it is like I apply the glue and I left it I'm even spreading it with the glue gun the top of the glue gun as well the tip to make it like a broken glass effect or something like this Here you can see it. I will. I have prepared three sides now only. You can uh, see the effect. How it looks beautiful. If you want, you can leave it as it is instead of coloring it because I colored it. But if you want, you can leave it as it is, like glass type. Uh, it's your choice. So now I will be applying some hot glue on these pillars on these sides of the frame to stick the empty part of the baking sheet on it like this now you can see why I left the sides one inches uh, empty I didn't apply the hot glue on these places because I needed to uh, stick them here on this way I will be covering all three sides by leaving fourth side empty because that fourth side I need to make it door so this is the fourth side you can see how it looks beautiful now from all inside so this one I'm gonna uh, apply some cardboard on it first to make the door then I will be using hot glue to make the same design uh, like other sheets other sides I did so I needed to first apply the uh, cardboard pieces that's why I didn't use the hot glue to make design first So this is how it looks like now and then I will be cutting off the extra paper and then you can see how beautifully it's opening. Here you go and then I'm gonna apply the hot glue only on the baking sheet not on the cardboard pieces from back side or from the front side as well because if we apply the hot glue on the cardboard from the inner side as well the door will not be getting closed the shape and the measurement will go wrong so that's why I'm using it only on the baking sheet part 
now here I have took some more pieces of cardboard which I'm gonna apply on these uh, black parts of the pillars to make it nice finishing and nice looks for all the sides I will be doing the same thing Here you can see how it looks nice now. You can leave it empty like uh, glass color as well. But for me, I'm going to use this turquoise color. It's not uh, blue. It's not uh, teal color actually because of lights. You feel like it's different shade, but it's uh, without lighting. And originally it's turquoise color. So I will be coloring all the parts from the inside and from the outside of the baking sheet. so now I'm gonna apply black acrylic paint for the bottom and for the top of the cardboard as well where I have used the tissues you can use the colors of your choice as I said before so after coloring and getting dry I'm going to apply some more hot glue designings on the outside of the baking sheet as well in just circle form and round forms, round shapes. Uh, so it will be giving a nice effect of the glass as well because uh, it's on top of the color so it will be giving more shine uh, and uh, more realistic look of the glass. Once it's done you will see it. And then to close the door you can use anything you have, magnets or hooks or uh, anything so to make them properly close the door and if you want if, uh, you can leave the bottom part empty to insert some lights inside if you don't want to make the door but for me I made the door that's fine for me and I loved it and then here I have silver acrylic paint which I'm gonna use on top of the black color and I'm using it on the edges on um, the texture only I'm not uh, inserting all the color inside the black as well just on the top by using the brush in this uh, position so it comes only on the texture because then I'm gonna color it with the golden acry acrylic paint as well a little bit to mix the shades together if you want you can completely leave it golden or leave it silver or leave it black that's up to you and then here I have black acrylic paint which I'm gonna use on these cardboard pieces I uh, used before I stick before so I'm coloring them with this black shade So here I have a little bit of golden acrylic paint which I'm gonna uh, give some shade on top of silver and black just merge colors together to um, spread them together to get a different shade actually not golden and not silver and not black just uh, a shade of different colors and then you can see after applying how it looks different then I'm using some more golden paint on the edges as well and this is only the last pea, last little bit color left golden I don't have any more of these and I'm waiting for the shops to open so I can bring the stuff anyways then I am using some hot glue on top of this uh, 
bottom parts of uh, the cardboard because I was feeling it looks like empty or uh, it's not attractive so I decided to use some hot glue and then I'm applying this black shade on top of the hot glue to get a different looks and style and design here you can see how it giving style now looks like embossing parts of the metal or steel something the same thing for the top as well I will be doing here uh, you can see now the hot glue texture on the baking sheet it's uh, looking nice now glossy a little bit and then this wall also I'm gonna color it with the golden acrylic paint and then I have some red beads just to add some color combinations I used uh, I'm using red beads to make it more attractive and it looks nice so I'll be applying these beads in the center of the all sides of the baking sheets and then we are almost done after this I have a red bangle which I'm gonna use on top of the red ball oh sorry on the top of the ball just to give it a design and here you can see how beautifully it's finished I love this I love the color combination and I love the style as well this is in the daytime you can see I have put this lights inside and these are of course battery lights these are not the candle the real one the fire one don't forget these things and um, I'm just loving it I love the style I love the combinations of the colors and then you will see it in the dark as well and this is how it looks like in dark and I'm totally loving it and maybe I will be making more for the more designing anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next video bye for now